four, three, and cue. Welcome food lovers to another tasty episode of Neri's Kitchen. Today we are featuring Sea Level 100, a popular seafood joint in the city, as well as their sister company featuring all things, crisp, all things chicken, crispy bunch. We will be making the infamous butterfly squid, nori tacos, and calamari bites from Sea Level 100. From crispy bunch, we will be doing chicken chunks, fried chicken extreme, and the cheat day sandwich. So if you're feeling like you need seafood and chicken done a totally different but tasty way, it's time to check them out. Bit bam, let's welcome <coughs> Chef Claudine. Hey guys! Hi. Thanks for having me in your kitchen. You. So what are we making today? Oh yeah, just first of all, I just want to introduce you. Uh, this is Diane Gacheros, our manager for C Level 100. Hi there. Okay, um, now we're going to make our famous dish. And what is this? Uh, butterfly squid. I've heard so much about this butterfly squid and I've seen it all over Instagram. It's crazy. Yeah. Like you guys just blew up just out of nowhere. So I'm really excited for this. Okay, so first thing that she's going to be doing with butterfly squid is she's gonna dump it in the batter. Mm -hmm. We're making we're gonna make sure that it's fully coated in the batter. Okay. Because if not, then the flour's not gonna stick at all. Right, and right. Just uses the crispiness of it. Um, next thing, she is gonna put it into the flour. The flour has uh, seasoning in it. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not just plain flour, and that's where all the flavor would come from as well. Okay. She's making sure that it's nicely pressed in there. And make, um, Allowing it to get really crispy once it starts frying up in the fryer. Okay. And then once we do so, we shake off all the excesses you normally would have mm -hmm. But it's like so more buttery. Um, yeah, let's make it crispy. <laughs> yeah. Extra sure crispy. Nicely yes. covered right there. All the nooks and yeah. crannies of it, especially the head. Mm -hmm. um, so like this. How did you guys come up with this menu? In the menu or this? Oh, okay, well that item, first of all. For sure, with that one, it's something that we wanted to think of like unique that's never happened in Winnipeg. So right. Long. And so, so we had thought of what in a way we can like expand a squid without it taking in the calamari. Yeah. Which we, have, we do have calamari bites, so we wanted to utilize the whole entire squid itself. Got it. And so it tends to be whole butterfly squid on the skewer, and it's honestly fun to look at, and it's very appetizing to look at the whole butter itself. Perfect. And how much do you sell of these a day? Probably about like 10 a day. 10 a day? Or mm -hmm. more. Sometimes it's really busy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how long have you guys been open? Uh, about two years now. Not two years? years? Yeah. Oh, not. I had no now. idea it was two years. <laughs> yeah. We first originally started um, the shoot festival. Yeah. Uh, just a little stand in one of those little booths, yeah. and then we got so popular with the butterfly squid that we decided to stand into our restaurant. Yeah. First one was actually at the Isabel location, okay. and we had decided to use the local location. Oh, wow. So, um, we're going to cook it for about like four to five minutes. Four to five minutes? Yeah. Okay. All right, so what's our next menu item also? So the next menu item would be the following up to the butterfly squid, which would be the calamari yeah. bites. Okay, but what's the difference with the calamari bites and the butterfly squid? The difference between the calamari bites and the butterfly squid would honestly be, so with the squid itself, it's a full squid, get the full experience. With the calamari bites, you think of it as like a chicken nugget. Oh, okay. It's a good sea level version. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you do get the full experience as well, but you don't have to worry about having a cutter or anything. It's just more ready to go, bite size, and just there for you. Okay. Yeah. So the way that we do with the calamari bites, same process. We got a good amount of calamari bites. Which uh, she's doing right now. Mm -hmm. And then we once again dump it into the batter. Or actually, we this time we put it. get a scoop. Yeah. Sometimes we dunk it in. Yeah. So right now we don't have a scoop, so we're just gonna yeah do this. <laughs> so making sure that it's nice and coated. Yeah. And then, and then we do the same thing. Put it in the flour and then patting it nicely in there, making sure that the flour is covered. Now, what inspired you guys with um, this menu? Because it's a lot of seafood. Did you guys grow up eating seafood? Um, no. Um, 
basically like, oh, I love eating, right? So, oh, who doesn't so, love eating? <laughs> right? Like, I love eating. Like, I love seafood, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There we go. And then this one takes about the same amount. Same amount? Okay. And so you guys have two locations. There's this location and then one on Isabel? No, this will sell the Isabel one. Oh, okay, got it, okay. Yeah. And then the butterfly. Freddy, you gotta put the other side. I want to make sure you keep an eye on it just so that it doesn't burn. Right, you don't want to overcook yeah, it too. Exactly. And it is quite very delicate. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's better to put it in the oven. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
we have a, a comment from one of our members or one of our viewers. RV says, that's how you guys make it. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been a question to me too, so. Okay, so right now, the first thing that she's going to do is we're going to put in a layer of our sushi rice. rice. What kind of rice is this? Sushi rice. Oh, sushi rice, yeah. okay. Alright, and then a layer of coleslaw. Oh, coleslaw? Yes. Perfect. And then normally with the Frios, there is the, of course, Frio for three pieces in one container. Uh, so the flavors that we're going to be doing is going to be the octo, shrimp, and which one was the last the one? The crab. The crab. The soft, soft shell crab. I have RV saying shout out Naman. Shout out. <laughs> what, what does that mean? Uh, uh, shout out Naman. Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, like, give it to, give a shout out to. Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shout out to whoever said that. It was RV. Rianne says yum. <laughs> My thoughts exactly, right? <laughs> so right now, we're just going to prepare that one while we're going to, and then we're going to cook the, the meat for that. Okay. So it's going to take about like four, four minutes. Okay. So, so the same process with the meat. And what kind of meat is that? Uh, this one is our soft shell crab. Oh, it's crab. Yeah. That's so we cut it in half for one order. Then put it here. What I like about the soft shell crab really is that you can just eat it whole. You don't. Yes. The crab is so soft. You don't have to feel. I didn't know that though. I had it in sushi before, and I didn't know that I was eating the entire crab. Shrimp here. I can go grab yeah. shrimp and octopus, please. Um. What I like about your menu is that everything is all fried. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, cheat day, right? <laughs> Did you grow up eating a lot of seafood? Yes. You did? Yes. And I love I love seafood. You love seafood? Yes. Do you have any fish on the menu also? I'm sorry? Do you have any fish on the menu also? Yes, we have uh, the deep fried tilapia. Okay. Most of our yeah, menu is all seafood. But we also have like non-seafood as well. Mm -hmm. We have beef and, um, and pork belly. Okay. <laughs> and so what are your business hours? Um, we're open um, Wednesday to Saturday from 11 to 8, okay. and then from Sunday, 11 to 6. And do you guys do takeout as well? Yes. Take now, we're, now we're only doing takeout here. Yeah? Okay. Of the right? right, right. So, yeah. And we also do like a uh, skip and Uber for our delivery. So, yeah. Okay. This be good. That's good. Here. And then we're going to cut this into pieces and then put it in the nori. I see, okay. Okay, right now you want to show them how to do that? No. Okay. This one is um, our octo, octo bonito. So it's octopus. That's the octopus? Yeah. <laughs> so same thing. Okay, you know. And this is going to go inside the nori tacos? Okay. okay. So a little bit of batter in there, making sure it's Five 
curious, how did you guys come up with the name Sea Level? Okay, so originally, long story short, there was a party for a group of friends. Okay. Uh, during that time, the street festival was very popular, and we were really interested in, just for fun, what would happen if we wanted to join and take part of the Sea Level. Uh, the, um, the street festival. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, and then, so, we came up with the name Sea Level because we wanted something that's sea food related. Yeah. And then when it comes to the Sea Level 100 portion of it, we wanted, our main goal was to make sure that our customers know that we're always going to be 100% yeah. when it comes to our food, our service, and everything in the restaurant. Yeah. Love it, love it. <laughs> So you guys are all friends. You guys were friends before this yeah. happened. Yeah. Okay. Same thing about like two to three minutes. And are you guys on Facebook as well? Yeah, we have Facebook account and then Instagram. Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. I think that's where I've heard of you guys was through Instagram actually. Yeah. I just kept on seeing all these photos yeah. of the infamous butterfly squid. Yeah. <laughs> we have some viewers watching. Hi Maria, thanks for tuning in. Hey Neil. Hey, hey Stephanie. Seasoning salt? Yeah. Okay. Let's fill those babies up. Yep. <laughs> so for this one, we have to cut oh, it in half. Yeah. I've never seen this before. I've never seen a fried nori, nori tacos. <laughs> so first off, we're going to put like a sauce. And what sauce is this? Um, this one is the um, okonomi sauce for the octopus. More sauce, more sauce on top here. And we're gonna put the. And what's this? Um, garlic. No, it's a uh, okonomi flakes. Oh, sorry, it's a uh, bonito flakes. <laughs> well, what's bonito flakes? Um, it's a. Uh, I believe it's I, fish flakes. Yeah, uh, fish flakes. Oh, fish yeah. flakes. Yeah. Yes. yes. It's dried fish flakes. Yes. I've never heard of that before. And then for this one, we put the uh, white sauce. And then did that. our spicy mayo sauce. And then something green, right? Yes. Oh, no. Uh, cilantro. Oh, cilantro. Oh, and... Not sesame. And what about the last one? The last one, we're going to do um, the shrimp, uh, crispy shrimp. Oh, crispy or, shrimp. Oh, they're, they're getting the shrimp. <laughs> I see, okay. Yeah, so then, so, the, so it's three tacos. Mm -hmm. It's the crab, and then the octopus, and then shrimp. And the crispy shrimp, yes. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, so we have like, um, we have pork belly as well. We mm -hmm. have teriyaki beef mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. ahi tuna. Right okay. Now showing you this. Right. This is our best salad. So you can mix and match then? Yes. Got it. So. Okay. Yeah, we're just getting the shredding the shrimp done. Yeah. Shrimp done. yeah. Shrimp done. yeah. <laughs> okay. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, let's do crispy bunch. Okay. So now, um, next, I'm just gonna introduce to you uh, uh my co-partner, um, 
Crispy and Crispy Buns, JB Dizon, and our manager, Rian De Los Reyes. Hey guys, nice to meet you. Show you guys how to do the cheat day the sandwich. Cheat day sandwich, and, okay. Yeah. Um, we're just gonna do uh, the uh, chicken chops first. We're doing cherry mayo and salad parmesan. Okay. So, first, um, we have our um, chicken chops. It's like a bite sized uh, chicken nugget. Okay. This is already pre-fried, so we just need two minutes. Got it, I see. two restaurants in one, in one location, correct? Okay. How did you guys come together? Um, we started at East Hotel first, at Crispy Bunch. Uh, it, it was back in August. And yeah, like, we just wanted like really simple and easy and um, to be honest, I don't know how we came up with a name. <laughs> okay. We just want something crispy and delicious, so might as well put it on like yeah. Crispy Bunch, right? Yeah. Right. Now we're putting this one for about yeah, like two minutes. Two minutes? Yeah, two more minutes. Okay. We we marinate our chicken for like twenty four hours, so it's all the spices and the super ingredients all in the chicken. And then we cut it in bite size, like chicken nuggets. And then we bread it with our dry bread. Talon says, my favorite local restaurant. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> and the best in town. Let's go. <laughs> Always good to hear that. And it was Crispy Bunch, how long has it been open for? Um, almost a year now. Almost a year? Yeah, because we started at Isabel at August, and now it's almost, almost one year. Okay. Japanese mayo, okay. And how did you guys come up with the menu for Crispy Bunch? Just like we gather some ideas that we see on the internet and then we talk about it as a business partner. Right. And then let us all do it. Look at that. Beautiful. So, so garlic parmesan. So we're, now we're doing the garlic parmesan. So this is our garlic parmesan. Garlic parmesan? Yes. Now, what is your favorite menu, or your favorite item on the menu, I should say? I, I like spicy. You like so spicy? I'll, over probably my either spicy garlic, because I love garlic, or just a regular spicy one. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, I love those. And we're going to put some garlic, fried garlic on top. We have Julie Reyes that says, Proud Nene. My mom. Oh, your mom? <laughs> That's so sweet, she's watching. So that's our chicken chunk. We 
Okay. Flossy flavors, dry flavors. What other flavors do you guys have? Uh, for the uh, sauce, we have cherry mayo. Mm -hmm. uh, Korean flavors, like a mild sauce. Okay. And, uh, spicy, chipotle mayo, it's like pretty much so you guys like have a lot of flavors yeah. then. I like that. The dry ones, we have Cajun, lemon pepper, mm -hmm. uh, salt and pepper, we have sriracha seasoning, uh, what else do we have? Like barbecue, Cajun, or just a simple one, we have original. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to make some chicken extreme. Okay, what is a chicken extreme? So this is our chicken breast that's already in and our batter and our, and our panko batter. And we're gonna fry it for four minutes. Fry it for four minutes? Yeah. For uh, chicken extreme, it comes with a slice of curly fries, regular fries, or if you want steam rice with it. What do most people order? Do they get curly fries? Curly fries? Okay. Mm -hmm. well, like feeling some, eating some carbs, some rice, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I know Asians always love rice with everything, they right? They love so. rice. Awesome. Okay. And what else do we have on the menu? Next will be a cheap base sandwich. Okay. Our, we have this for um, fried chicken fest. And we want place. Oh, second place in the fried chicken fest. It's um, what's it called? Boneless fried chicken thighs. We batter it with our eggs, butter, and we fry it for like 11 minutes. Okay. Um, a cheesy sandwich is like basically it's a cheese based sandwich with two grilled cheese um, with a Nashville sauce. Now, who came up with this specific item? Because it was a second, it was a winner, no, second place of yeah. the chicken fried fest. Um, my other business partner, which is his diner right now, um, we got her some ideas and we helped, we just helped each other, like, great and whatever. So we just came up with cheesy sandwich. <laughs> How can you say no with uh, two grilled cheese? Well, I worked out today already, so <laughs> it is cheat day. Yeah, FYI, I, I worked out already. I worked out already. Jerome worked out already, too. And Jerome's really excited for this, actually. <laughs> I think you're the only one that I know that really loves seafood, Jerome. Oh, yes. I love seafood. <laughs> I love fish. I love all those things. Seaweeds. Seaweed? Okay. Sure. I have Max the Panda that says best calamari in town. Wow. Yay, awesome. Viewers, uh, if you've been to Sea Level or Crispy Bunch, please let me know and what is, let me know what is your favorite item. Marvin says, "I love this resto." Social media also? We have Facebook, we have Instagram. Facebook, Instagram? Yes. Yeah. We post our daily specials and our menu every day on Instagram. So please check them out. You post a daily menu every day? Yeah, we post a special. Oh, a special, okay. And what types of specials would you have? It's like Wednesday, we have 10 values. Okay. Uh, like chicken tacos, the 
rice bowl. Rice bowl, okay. That is huge, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, that's an extreme ball, right? <laughs> Alright, so season that, yeah. Okay. Oh, it comes in a pizza box. And then honey garlic on top. And I love how you guys have these sheets here. I haven't yes. seen these sheets in forever. Okay, so the cheat day. Oh, it's dipped. Yeah, it's dipped. And what um, sauce is this? It's the red um, oil, the Nashville. Red of Nashville oil. It's dipped in Nashville oil. Yeah. Okay. And this is our secret sauce. Secret sauce. Yeah. And then some coleslaw. And what's this? Oh, okay, more special seasoning. Secret. <laughs> secret. <laughs> well, you guys did place second in the the, crisp, the chicken fest. Marvin says, that's my comfort food, crispy bunch. <laughs> Hi, Marvin. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> and pickles. So all of that between two grilled cheese sandwiches. Oh, my goodness. That is definitely a cheat day sandwich. Side of chips. Look at the chip, guys. All right. Well, thank you so much, JB, for showing us how to make the chicken chunks, chicken chunks, cheat day sandwich, and the fried chicken, fried chicken, extreme. fried chicken extreme. You guys, I'm so hungry. Thank you so much for letting us into your kitchen. We had so much fun. Okay, let's go check out the there. Oh, yes. Yeah. The, the nori tacos. So this is our last. The last one, the crispy shrimp. Uh -huh. So we put the um, three pieces of shrimp and then our special sauce and a little bit of um, uh, parsley and paprika. Okay, perfect. So, <laughs> Thank you so much, Claudine, for showing us how to make the nori tacos, the calamari bites, yeah. and, and the, the infamous bites. butterfly squid. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Yeah. Bye now. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, Let's get everybody, let's go. <laughs> I got you five, four, three, five, nine.